Hi guys, this is Fizzblatt and welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded any like um weekly videos like twice a week um very often. The last two weeks uh, it's been because I've been like busy with like going to see people and like sorting things out because it's been a bit chaotic lately, um, to say the least. But I am back. Um, I'm gonna try going back onto uploading videos twice a week. Um, but yeah, I am back with my name is you, and it's the only unusual thing in my life. I did say if anyone's interested in watching, um, well seeing more of these videos but i'm really curious to find out more about him because we don't really know much about him and i'm quite curious to find out what is his story and um, so we're gonna get right into it then so we're gonna do a new story i think so i'm gonna have different choices so beginning. it's gonna be similar so i might like edit it out like so we don't have to go through the same like dialogue um constantly but we're gonna just choose different options to see what um is gets the best outcome. Cause obviously, luckily like we got one of the worst outcomes last time. Chap so I think we should read the letter. Cause right, like I said in the previous video for this, I think read the letter is gonna be the good choice. So I just think what we did wrong was that we taught we asked a chill. Body for a Darina, suit. there we go. Darina, From we Darina. asked her to stay, but I think we have to let her go. Maybe I don't know. You was confused by the seal on the envelope, indicating the place of departure. No leave grad. Is she really coming back to Cannot? You wondered. Dear you. My doctor's suspicions are confirmed. I have the same disease that struck you. I thought it over and decided that we need to break up. It may seem that things like that should bring people closer, but it would be unfair to myself. We can have our last date on the morning of April 3rd in the Seafront Cafe. And then I will leave Cannot and go abroad. He felt dizzy yes yeah, so i think we should go to the cafe because it seems like it's an important step Although you suffered from excessive hypochondria he really had an incurable illness he clearly remembered the day when he heard the diagnosis since that moment he stopped counting new birthmarks on his body he seemed shaken up after reading the letter, but not surprised. He tried to squeeze out a tear to see if he was still capable of showing emotions. Alas, he just welled up a little. You decided that it was because he had drunk a large amount of coffee, which dehydrated his already dried up body. Approaching the seafront, he tried to spot Darina. It did not take him long to find her. There she was at the cafe table. She probably had no clue how much he appreciated her starting the conversation. Usually you are late. I am tired. I hope you understand me. But he did not. Having overcome his anxiety, he squeezed out a handful of words. Right, so I think we have to agree with the parting. That's just what I think. Maybe he that's a good choice. Ready for such an outcome, and did not hold a grudge against her. Nodding goodbye to her, you hurried to work. He was almost there when he saw his boss enter the office building. He took it as his personal failure. 
although his watch showed that he still had several minutes. Yu had barely got into the office when he noticed two male silhouettes behind him. He turned around and saw his boss and a man he had never seen before a little further away. To avoid unnecessary explanations, Yu took a badge from his table and pointed to it. Yes, despite the fact that there was no live communication with clients, the work charter required to wear a name tag, probably to remember your name. Wow, that's a very unusual name. Nice to meet you. Yeah. It is the only unusual detail of my life. An awkward pause hung in the air. The boss standing behind Frank frowned and cast a reproachful glance at you. Frank is our security guard starting today. Who? We have nothing to... A security guard. Some of my important documents are missing. There are only two of us. What kind of documents? That I cannot tell you. You mean you suspect me? No, I do not. Eliminating any opportunity to continue the conversation, the boss turned around and went into his office. So the room plunged into silence. You got down to some clerical work. So he says that there's only two people working there. And then you got Frank, the security guard, that's starting today. So I wonder what business he does since there's only two of them. You was sitting at his sturdy desk, imagining again and again how the shelves stocked with books on jurisprudence would break loose due to their own weight from friable concrete and break his head. Allowing himself a little break, you took his diary from his table drawer and made a note. I never took a plate of soup at school lunches, even when I really wanted to. I was afraid to spill it in front of everyone, but I could put it on the table which seems to be my life's pattern. Feeling some satisfaction from writing that, he resumed work. There was a rustle of the janitor's broom and the trill of birds outside the window. More accurate than the clock, you thought. Chapter 2 So we actually got to chapter 2 now. So that's something, I guess. On the second day of work, Every sip of coffee came out of his nose as blood. Covering is he dying? Well, hand, obviously he's got an incurable illness, but is he dying? <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish I could narrate a little faster and keep you from getting bored. But it is difficult in my condition. Let's continue. Returning to his workplace, you saw Frank sitting at his table and leafing through his personal diary. Such violation of personal boundaries, it seemed, was about to put you out of temper. Um, I'm going to ask him. I feel like that's polite. That's, that's just what I think, anyways. Give it to me. Here, take it. I was curious. In a moment, you hid his diary in the drawer of his desk. I am sorry if I offended you. The incident seemed to be over, but Frank's intrusive nature got the better of him. Can I ask you a question? Why does everyone in your notes die? Oh, answer or keep silence. Um, 
I don't know what he's gonna say. I mean, maybe he'll tell him about how he's dying, maybe. Hmm. But if he keeps silent, I don't think he's gonna appreciate that. Like, maybe he doesn't like feel like he's trustworthy. So maybe answering? Perhaps the lack of communication affected you. Unexpectedly for himself, he answered the question directly. I'm not sure, but it seems to me that the desire to kill a self-protagonist in the text takes root in the desire to alienate the described situation from a real self. You said it as if he had prepared an answer to this question a long time ago, or at least he had thought about it before. Silence set in. Frank was embarrassed by his answer and tried to look understanding. Well, more likely that it is just easier to kill. The office phone rang. Guess saved by the bell, I guess. <laughs> Answer the call or ignore the call. Oh, why is there so many options in this one? Um... Answer the call? Okay, it could be an important call, but it's business. Mm. Yeah, maybe answer. As soon as you came up to the phone, the ringing stopped. Oh. He barely returned to his desk when the phone rang again. I'm going to keep answering it. As soon as you came up to the phone, Okay, so it's stopped. doing it a second time now, so maybe ignoring it? He barely returned to his desk when the phone rang again. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore it then. The ringing bored into his skull. You was buzzing together with the receiver. You involuntarily took off, but his head started spinning and he was seeing dark spots. Holding onto the railing, you slid down the stairs and jumped out onto the street. What? He ran into his boss at the door, who stood there smoking. Go to bed now. You can give me the rest of the papers tomorrow. He did not have any strength left to work anyway. Although he left some things in the office, you was not in a hurry to go back. He sat down on the doorstep to rest. His vision was not particularly keen on the second day, so it took him a while to recognize a familiar face. You livened a little. A welcoming grin appeared on his face. Hi, Max. Why are you not at work? I dismissed my students a little early. How are you feeling? As usual, another night shift. If I was your father, I would have fired you long ago. Oh, was his boss's dad? I think that's where I'm getting at, that the boss is his dad? Yeah, because if I were your father, I would have fired you long ago. So basically saying that the, the dad is the boss? What will be left for me then? Max answered with a question. Do you want me to take your shift? Right, um... If I say yes, then it might be that, like, I feel like it's good that he should because it seems like he's not capable right now. Oh, but then will he get fired for doing that? Yes, I'm going with yes. I feel like, I don't know. They let me go, but there is still a lot of work to do. Okay, I will talk to your father. Don't you dare. Max had a fit of grunting coughing, to you surprise. Max tried to hide it very hard. 
but you notice blood on his palms, which he quickly hid in his pocket. Why is he everyone dying? With his old friend, pretending that the latter had not given his secret away. Max tried to quietly wipe the traces of blood with the handkerchief, the corner of which was still visible from the pocket of his coat. The handkerchief was way too familiar. It was Darina's handkerchief. It was Darina's. Oh. I'm I, I'm curious because I'm gonna say what was that? What was that? I'm really curious now. What do you mean? I have a cold. There have been droughts in my classroom for three days. You looked at his own hands, counting his fingers. Boring, but quite expected. They were all there. He was clearly weaker than his friend was, but having lost control of himself, he grabbed Max by the front of his shirt, which led to a clumsy brawl. Max pushed you against his shoulder in an attempt to break away. Because of an insult or uneven stones on the pavement, you lost his balance and fell down, hitting the curb with the back of his head. Are you kidding me? <sighs> As if examining a painting, you fixed his dying look on his fingers and counted them. He counted them again and again. Right then, right, it's chapters. Right, okay. So, right, so I'm trying to get this free, right? So, he basically works with his dad. His dad's the boss. Um, we've met Max. We don't really know how you is related to Max. It seems like he's like a friend or like, I don't, like, I don't know if like, could, I don't know if like you had like a therapist or anything like that, like Max might have been or like, it seems like he was friends of him because they said it's an old friend. So it must be like an old friend then. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but then it's like, it seems like he's dying as well because you was coughing up blood. And now Max is. So I'm kind of thinking maybe Max has got the same condition you has, but like doesn't know about it. Or maybe he does know about it because he was hiding it from you. Um, but then he has Darina's handkerchief, so then that makes me think. I don't know. Like, I'm just thinking now that if you had the condition and then pass it on to Darina, who was his girlfriend, and this Max dude has her handkerchief and is also got maybe the same condition i'm just going to go with the he has the same condition so i'm just going to i'm thinking that maybe like darina had an affair with max maybe i'm not too sure um i might be thinking too much into this but i think like maybe it's something to do with that and that it's like it's just again like, passed on like that um, I'm not too sure. I'm. I feel like this is answered a, like asked a lot more questions, and I feel like that this is gonna be long trying to like go to find. I feel I don't know how many endings there are. I might have to go and look and see how many endings there are. But I really want to get all the endings. But I feel like it's gonna be annoying trying to do like um, an ending an episode, and it's like both. 20 odd minutes to get one ending so i might end it here um cause i've got one ending i'm feeling like we've got quite into it we've got chapter two now so we can so we can go straight to chapter two but then i might do in another episode is go back to chapter one and do like going to work not reading her letter and see what happens so i guess we'll see what happens 
um so thank you for watching this video if you love this video love this game please give it a like um if there's any other games or if you really like this game or anything please comment down below um and then if you haven't already please subscribe um but yeah this this is a good game um i feel that this is quite a nice short game to have like in the middle of the week um that you know, just like find out and unra unravel more about this character and it's quite interesting actually so i continue doing this series um but anyways um please give like please comment down below please subscribe and i will see you on sunday because i will be releasing another video for phoenix right be there be square <laughs> see you guys bye